From Wisconsin to Indiana to right here in New York, the state capitol in Albany Wednesday night echoed as well with chants of this is what democracy looks like as protesters occupied the halls to protest budget cuts to education. This time it's a Democratic governor, Andrew Cuomo, in the driver's seat. And while he's not threatening union negotiating rights, the budget pushed through at 1 a.m. contains steep cuts to education spending at the primary level, the State University of New York, and job creation. It also allows the millionaire's tax to expire. That's the surtax on incomes over a million dollars. In other words, it's not just Republicans cutting taxes on the rich and taking the funding from students and the unemployed these days. Just as in Wisconsin, protesters in New York chanted, whose house, our house, ate pizza, made s'mores, and were joined by state senators Adams and Diaz, who carried pillows to work as they announced their votes against the budget. A sign on a door announced that it was for senators, staff, and lobbyists only. But Twitter announced later that the group Community Voices Heard had taken over that spot. Despite the protest, though, the budget pushed through and the politicians celebrated. The battle, though, is not quite over yet. New Yorkers and working people around the country are gearing up for We Are One rallies on Monday, April 4th, foreshadowed in New Haven this week by a march that brought union workers from public and private sectors together with non-union folks from around the state. What can people do against the massive power of power? Who knows? But from what we're hearing, a whole lot of Americans are planning to come together Monday and find out. Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our program available free to public television stations coast to coast. If you would like to see our show on your local public television station, please give them a call and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders. Thanks.